Hello everyone and welcome back, Dom here and on this video I'm going to show you how you can extract acapellas and instrumentals from pretty much any track with Cubase 11 right after this. So I think this video is going to be pretty short. Many of you that have upgraded to Cubase 11 Pro might already know this. But nevertheless, before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do me a solid and subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and also like this video if you enjoy this content because it allows me to make more of it. One of the things that sooner or later you will have to do as a music producer, as a recording artist, as a vocalist, as somebody who does remixes, is create acapellas, is create instrumental versions of a given track. And since Cubase 11, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, Cubase is the only DAW that can do this straight out of the box pretty much with one click. I know there are other programs out there that can do stuff like this, but Cubase can do this all inside your DAW. So you don't have to go out, extract, import, and all these things. And the reason why it's able to do it is because we have Spectral Layers 1 in Cubase 11 now. And Spectral Layers is an incredibly powerful application in its own right, but maybe this is the topic for another video. So how can we actually do this? Let me play a track that you might already know by now. Okay, and let's say we want to extract the a cappella from this stereo track and the instrumental. Normally, it would be really hard to do. You would have to do some crazy stuff with uh, mid-side processing, with EQ, with filtering. You would probably get there. Now, let me show you how you can do this in Cubase. And like I said, correct me in the comments down below, but I think that Cubase is the only, only DAW that can do this in the box. So, let's select the audio here. And then all you need to do is go to audio and then go to extensions, spectral layers. And once you do this, spectral layers will analyze this track and then you can perform the magic. In my case, I want to explain this. I have the full version of spectral layers. So you might be seeing some features that you won't have if you only have spectral layers one that comes in Cubase, but I'm going to do only the things that is possible with Spectral Layers 1. By the way, if this doesn't show up, make sure you have installed it using the Steinberg Download Assistant. I know that this is optional, so if you don't install it, it's not gonna be there. Just a tip. So let me show you how you do this now. All you need to do is go Layer, and here, if you're using Spectral Layers 1, you will find unmixed vocals. In my case, I have unmixed stems, because if you have the full version, you can actually unmix more than vocals. So let's click on this. And as you can see, a dialogue pops up and I have vocals, piano, drums, bass. And I want to have non-distractive as my option there. Now, in this case, I'm going to emulate the options that we have on Spectral Layers 1. So I'm going to remove everything else and I'm just going to use the vocals. Now, there's a slider that says sensitivity. Most of the times I find that zero just works as if by magic, but this track is especially busy with lots of scenes, lots of mid-range, so I'm trying to make this really hard for the algorithm. If I was going to do this properly, I would try and play with the sensitivity settings. In this case, I'm going to keep it at zero, hit OK, and now I'm going to wait for spectral layers to unmix the stems. And check what happens after it does it. And boom, now we have the vocals separately and the instrumental separately. Where are they? They're right here. See, vocals, let's solo it. See, these are just the vocals and the instrumental right there. So let's play them both at first. So just like if I had the separate stems, I can just mute the vocals like this. Now the cool thing that Spectral Layers does to begin with is that when you play these two unmixed stems, they sound exactly the same like the original audio. Now let's play the vocals solo. Back to 
And what it does is it even picks up the left and right harmonies and sometimes the delays and the reverbs. So there you go, that's all you need to do. And like I said, if you want to have a more detailed result, you can go and play with the sensitivity until you feel that works better with your vocal because depending on the track, you might need to set up a different kind of sensitivity. For me, this result is already pretty good. With a little bit of EQing and a little bit of compression, I think it's going to be perfect to create a remix. And when I'm saying EQing and processing, let me show you how you can do this. Actually, if you take any one of these and drag them into the project, check what happens. Immediately, there we go. Now I have the acapella right there. And if I want to drop my instrumental, there we go. Now I have the instrumental right there. It's all done inside Cubase. I didn't have to export. I didn't have to rename anything. I didn't have to do pretty much anything. I can just go here now and go to my vocals and play them back. And... and I can start processing them, maybe I can improve the sound as well, but like most of the work is done for me. And the same goes for instrumentals. And if you're a singer and you want to like practice on a song and you want to find an instrumental, you can do this like in one split second. I honestly couldn't hope for a better instrumental. It's amazing. Now, as a bonus, I'm going to show you what you can do with the full version of Spectra Layers. So I'm going to undo everything that I've done and I'm going to select this. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to unmix all the possible stems that we have. So I'm going to go on Mix Stems. Again, this is a Spectra Layers Pro feature, okay? So hit OK. And now we're going to wait and see what happens. And the interesting thing is it doesn't take much longer than just unmixing just the vocals, which is very interesting. The algorithm is really, really clever here. So as you can see, now we have a completely, completely different story, okay? So let's see, we have the vocals. Piano, actually, I didn't have piano, I shouldn't have done this, drums. Since bass, Okay, so now I have the synths in a separate stem, I have the drums in a separate stem, I have the bass in a separate stem. So can you imagine all the remix possibilities that you have here? And again, in this case, I shouldn't have done piano, I think this might have confused the algorithm a bit, so just use the stuff that you have inside your track. But you can understand how much power you have by using spectral layers inside Cubase. It's really a godsend, I cannot stress this enough. And this is even on Cubase Artist, so even if you don't go for the pro version, I think that pretty much anyone that's serious about music should at least have Cubase Artist just for this feature. That's my own personal opinion, but yeah, I think it's a killer feature. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you know about this feature in Cubase 11? Is this a feature enough to make you upgrade from Cubase 10 or an earlier version? And of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.